Hello everyone. Um, in this video, we're going to talk about uh, setting up your first code and then publishing it to Orchestrator. So, this is your UI path uh, community edition. So, first thing we'll do open up a process. Now, while naming the process, uh, we will start with the Hello World project. Uh, note that I did not put any spaces in between. Uh, always ensure that your path to your UI path project should not have any spaces. Uh, the reason we will talk about it in later later videos. So I'm going to create one. So let me name it Hello World uh, First Project, right? So it will create a workspace for me. While it creates, I'll pause the video and come back. Okay, so uh, it has opened the project. So in this, uh, we will just put up a message box in this pro in this small video tutorial. So we'll go to the activities panel, click for a message box. Sorry. Uh, so let's scroll down, get the message box. I'll slowly drag it on top of the plus sign and put it in double quotes. Hello. Hello world. Okay, that's all. It's a simple project. So we will just run the file and see what happens. So this this will basically open up the robot and put in a message box on my laptop saying that hello world. So now uh, the objective is not to show this, but how to publish it into in, into your orchestrator. So if you see, uh, it tells that okay, let's publish options to your orchestrator. Before doing that, we will have to log in. And set up our robot right so let's go to platform.uipath.com login with our credentials right and then you book, click on this orchestrator services so once you click on that you will be take you will be taken to your orchestrator and we did show you before on this on the first part where we installed a, a ui path studio so over here i need to connect my machine to this right so um, so this is my laptop which i want to get connect to uh, ui path so let's click on plus sign and click on standard machine so here, uh, before opening it up, certain information that you would need. So open up command prompt and type who am I, right? And the next command that you will write is host name. We'll keep this into as it is uh, and then come back over here. So over here it says name and, uh, there's, and it's a mandatory field. It says it should be the same as that what, what, you, uh, what your workstation that robot is running on. So this is basically the host name. So let's click on this, right? Laptop Sayaba, so is the host name of the machine. And then put it over here and then click on provision, right? So that means that uh, it has created a, 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 an, a, an entry for my laptop. Now, if you see uh, over here, you click on edit, click on the three dots and click on edit. You will find something called as machine key copy that machine key and then click over here and then you will have ui path orchestrator right click on top of it click on orchestrator settings now if you see you can see the machine name laptop sahaba is already over here now it asks for the orchestrator url the orchestrator url is your login id and then your next in mass default so i'll copy up to here right this is your orchestrator URL. Please pay attention to the URL. So anything be after that, we don't need it. So copy that URL, right? And then go to your orchestrator, paste this. You remember that we did asking for a machine key. You, the machine key that we copied, paste it over here and click on connect. Okay, so if you see once it is gets connected, it says connected but unlicensed right so we so the idea is that comp your laptop or your computer is connected but however it is unlicensed so we have to provide a license and connect the robot so let's see what what changes did it make over here let's refresh this part up 
and see that that running unknown right now shows one plus versions right so that means that ui path cloud orchestrator is able to connect to my machine now the next step is install a robot so under management you go to robots click on the plus sign we will create a standard robot right and then choose the machine and it asks me for the name let me name it as laptop laptop robot right and the license type uh, recently there are some changes you always have to you know as i said in one of my videos that you should be subscribing to the community and you should keep yourself updated at what's happening recently in the community version they only allow us to have unattended robots so let's click on unattended robots then it asks for domain and username remember that we have created the command called who am i and under that you can see that uh, laptop server so slash domain name slash the user so i'll copy that right and paste it over here then it will ask for the machine password that means your local laptop the user id or the password that you use to log into this machine provide that password so i'm going to provide that password right the password to this laptop right and then create right uh, give it some time so this will basically uh, become green and you see um, if you click over here slowly you can see that connected and licensed now you can see that your robot is uh, connected and licensed it will take some time for the same to be reflected however it will not reflect unless until you create environments okay so the ui path needs to know what kind of environment that you are provisioning it so click on add so we are going to use a development environment so let's make a development environment create right this is one of the key steps that many miss so make sure that you do this so you have to create an environment and update so i create an update uh, so what i did was basically create a development environment and added that robot into that environment for production you can create another environment and add that robot so now you see when you come back to the robots you can see that the laptop robot is now at an unattended and you can see the green icon which means that it is available so we are now the cloud orchestrator is able to connect to my machine and talk to my robot but there is nothing that that thing in provision in the into the studio or into the orchestrator that uh, will run right so let's go back to our ui path studio and click on publish right the first step that we were trying to do so click on publish and the package name it will create a package and say upload it so the package name is hello world keep everything default we will discuss them in detail in in my in my later videos and then click on publish so it has package has been published successfully so now let's go back to the orchestrator scroll up scroll up right and you can see processes right so over here the next step is to add that process although it has been pushed into the orchestrator it is still not active so click on the plus sign click on that drop down and you can see that your package is delivered so you click on hello world and you have the process up and running so so over here you have to see the process and the version of the process why when we were publishing it you did see the version name we will discuss them in detail in in later videos but for the time being it is just for setup of ui path right now the next is great let's go to create a job so create a job so click on start and then hello world development select the robot that you want to run and then start once you start it this will basic the the u orchestrator will basically trigger uh, the local version of the code and show me hello world in my system so let's wait so you see in my in my window you can see now hello world has been provisioned remember i did not run it from uh, my local studio but i actually ran it from orchestrator let's try to do it once more so click on start hello world development click on robot click on start right so you see that hello world text has come that means my orchestrator is running mine uh, after this one of the key key tips that i would give is also set up your mobile 
um, and download a, a software and base and and, and 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 you should be able to an app basically which will help you to um, manage it using mobile app so let me let me go and bring up my mobile interface so uh, in the meantime what I did was I brought up my mobile interface uh, onto the screen so what we're going to do is download an app let's go to the app store uh, you can do the same using your Android phones as well. So let's type UI path over here. Okay. <clears throat> so you will find UI path orchestrator. Click over here and it will download uh, UI path orchestrator on your phone. Right. So while it gets downloaded, I'll pause the video and come back once it's installed. So now uh, on my screen you can see a icon called as UI path on the bottom right corner. So let me click on that. Uh, it asks for share analytics. So I allowed it. So now there are two options out over here called as the UI path cloud platform and on-premise. Um, for us, for the for this course, we will use UI path cloud platform. So it takes me uh, to the UiPath account. So over here we will enter the credentials. So again, you can see the UiPath login. So use your credentials. So we click over here. Dot password at next gen mouse.com right so once you enter your uh, login id and password so you will get uh, to see a window like this it will say unattended jobs uh, so it says that you can run jobs and create and edit triggers for modern folders so click on ok um, so this is your mobile app which talks about uh, what jobs that we have been run and what are the status so let's go and trigger the job from our mobile right so let's go and click on the jobs click on the small arrow select the process select the process and then select the robot right and then start the job so once we start it it shows me shows me an alert and it says okay yes so I provide my smart ID and then the job is created and bingo. So here you can see that the message hello world appears. So uh, that's all I have. So this is completes the initial setup of your uh, UI path. Have a nice one and thanks for listening.